Hey everyone, my name is Jamie Lee. Welcome back to my channel and thank you so much for watching this video today. Now today we are revisiting one of my all-time favorite places to shop online as a Canadian, which is Boutique 1861. Now as the name suggests, this is a boutique style store. So they source individual pieces or small collections from all kinds of different designers, including lots of made in Canada items, as well as other items from around the world. And I would say they have a vintage slash like romantic vibe for most of their clothing, which I really, really like. Now, this time I mostly stuck with getting things that were like perfect for fall to winter, with one huge exception of a flirty romantic dress that I do think is more suited to summer, but I loved it, so I need to show you guys anyways, you know. And I will put down in the description box the exact items that I'm wearing and a link to them if they're still available. A lot of times, even if the exact item is not still available, they will have something that's kind of similar. So definitely consider checking them out. This is not a sponsored video or anything. I just really, really love a lot of their stuff. And I find I will see like an advertisement for them. And it's always something that's like, oh my God, I have to have it. And I own a lot of stuff from them. <laughs> so without any further ado, Let's talk about them. Now, if you live in Canada like I do, I believe if you order over a certain volume of stuff, you do get free shipping and the shipping is incredibly fast. Like I would say I get most things in a couple of days at most. Now, everything is shipping from Montreal. So obviously the further away from Montreal you live, the longer it will take to ship there. But I still do think that the shipping would be really reasonable and they pack and ship orders like within one to two days, always. They do also ship to other countries. I would recommend checking their website if you do not live in Canada or the US just to confirm if they can ship to you before you start adding to cart. I know your pain. <laughs> I've done that many, many times only to realize places don't ship to Canada. And I would say most of the pricing on their site, obviously it can depend by collection and like who the designer is. But on average, I would say a lot of the tops are somewhere in the like 30 to $50 range. Maybe most pants are in like the 40 to 60. And then of course there are like beautiful vintage style ball gowns that cost like 400 to a thousand dollars it can really really depend i got my favorite pair of like fall to winter transition boots adorable boots from boutique 1861 last year and they were only like 50 dollars. i wear them to death and they still look perfect so most of these items in my experience very very high quality really beautifully made and will last you a long time. So now that I'm done rambling, I guess let's get into the clothes. And this is kind of a um, interesting choice on my part, this outfit choice. I do think that a different skirt would probably be better. There was a skirt from Boutique 1861 I wanted to get to match with this cute little sweater top, but it sold out almost immediately. So definitely if there's something that you like, buy it. <laughs> Things do tend to sell out really fast, especially if they're like trendy or like on current fashion trends. The more vintage stuff I find tends to stick around a little longer. But this is ironic because this is just a Shein cheap $5 skirt. But I wear this skirt more than just about any other ones that I own. It's amazing. So I decided to pair it with this. Obviously the burgundy colors kind of match. I don't have a single other skirt that looks good with this. And I think you really do need a skirt to like bring it to life. An alternative of course would be like a really high waisted kind of vintagey cut of jean I think would be good, especially a lighter wash. But this little sweater top, I kept seeing ads for it. I had to buy it. I really, really like it, although I don't 100% know where I will wear it. It is a super, super thick knit. It is very, very soft. This is not like a scratchy knit that's going to irritate you. These are real buttons. So like you could actually undo this further if you wanted to or wear it like a little cardigan over top of something. 
which might end up being how I have to wear it, like with a dress or something. Obviously it has like slight balloony sleeves and then little cuffs at the bottom. Now my one complaint with this, and this is my problem obviously, for me, my boobs are causing this to like pull apart and like shift a little in the middle. So if I was actually going to wear it out, like this where it was closed, I would need to just put some double-sided tape in the middle probably to hold it together so it isn't gapping all day. But that's an easy enough fix. Overall, I just think that the little silhouette of this where it's like the poofy sleeves coming into like the more narrow waist, I really like it. I think it's very flattering, I think it's cute. And then if I just untuck it for a sec, you can see it does also have a white bottom which i do think makes it look very like 50s in my opinion i really love it i know that this more super vintage is not everybody's thing i really love a really cute like old school look so i really really love it but definitely let me know what you think and also let me know what you would style it with and I just might try some of your styling suggestions and post them over on my Instagram stories. So definitely be sure to follow me there too if you're interested in seeing some of your styling suggestions come to life. And yeah, overall, I'm very happy with it. I think it's cute. It's just what I wanted. And I can't wait to wear it out more this fall. So next we have um, what I was referring to in the beginning when I said, you know, one of these pieces is not like the other. And it is <laughs> this dress. Now, this is obviously not a fall or winter dress. This is very much for like spring into summer. It is this super cute lavender color, super pale lavender. And I had to have it. I just kept looking at it. I thought it was so cute. I've been looking at it for like months. I will say, I don't think that it is as cute in person as I thought that it looked on the model online. I think just because the model was like a little taller than me, this happens to me often. Um, but I do like it, I think it's cute. I love the sleeves, the giant flirty romantic sleeves. I think the part that kind of throws me off is honestly the bust area. This entire portion is smocked and you can see it a little bit better when I'm up here, which I usually really love like a smocked effect, but it's not tight at all. I got this in a size small, but for some reason it was like really, really quite big in the smocked area. So for me, it just, ends up looking like a little bit loose, like maybe I got a size too big when like this was the smallest size, which is a little unfortunate. I do really like the back and how it has a big bow back here. I like the length. I actually think the, that the length is great on me. It's basically like an ankle skimming. I do think it would be a very different vibe if it was just like a tiny bit shorter. But overall, I do like it. It definitely gives me like prancing through a flower field vibes. I'm picturing this with like a bow tied up in your hair, a little like picnic basket and going out for like a cute picnic date in the park. I do think that it's very cute. I think it looks great. The color, obviously, I really like lavender. There will be more purple <laughs> coming soon, but I don't think that lavender is like the best color on my skin tone, but I like it anyways, so I continue to wear it. This dress does also have pockets. They're pretty small. You're not really going to be able to like store a lot of stuff in them. Like I don't even know if my phone would fit, but that is an option if you want to have something in your pockets while you're wearing your fairy princess dress. And overall, I really like it. Definitely let me know if you like it. Let me know if this kind of big over the top dress is your style or not. I have been very into it for the last year or so, the like huge dresses. I would love to try some of the like silky dresses or the Tuta Matoshi dresses. I'll leave it at that, but definitely let me know. Do you like it? Do you not like it? And why? Now we have something that's very COVID chic. Now, <laughs> I have been working from home for the entire pandemic. 
I believe we will be going back to the office soon. But while I've been working from home, I have been kind of just collecting all of these different sets of like coordinated loungewear because <laughs> When you're working from home, like, nobody can really see you. Most people can only see from here up. So as long as you have, like, a solid thing or a pattern and, you know, something comfy on, it doesn't really matter as long as your, like, face and hair look okay. <laughs> so I have purchased lots of, like, comfy jogger sets. Now, Boutique 1861, since the beginning of the pandemic, has had, like, hundreds of different color coordinated loungewear sets and they they're never that much money like they're always under a hundred dollars for a set usually under eighty dollars and they all just look so cute and so comfy and the reviews on them were always stellar so i was finally like you know what i'm gonna get a set and i was going to get like a navy or maybe like a salmon color or something that was just like a little more basic and then I was like you know what <laughs> I'll just get fluorescent like Barney purple and I adore it so it is like a matching two-piece set but let's talk about the sweater part first because I would say the sweater is my least favorite part of this set it is enormous so you have to buy these sets as like one size which <laughs> Anybody who's purchased bathing suits where you have to get both both pieces in the same size will know it doesn't always work. So I got both pieces in a size medium because I really wanted these sweatpants to fit in like a somewhat loose, like not super, super tight way. And this is the result. Um, it's a little bit big. <laughs> it's very comfy though. And the inside of this is in this really, really soft brushed fleece, which feels amazing. And it has kind of like the bottom that normally would be like tight to you in a normal sweatshirt, but it's just like I could fit two more people inside. Obviously that is a choice, but I guess I didn't realize like how big the top would be. <laughs> in terms of length, the sleeves are actually a pretty good length for me. So that's something to keep in mind. Like I'm only five foot one. I have very, very short arms and the arm length is fine for me. So it might just be like a little bit shorter on you or you might wanna wear it as like a rolled up sleeve if you have long arms. But the joggers are really the star of this show. And I'll just tell tuck the sweater up into my bra for a sec so that we can really like give the sweatpants a moment to shine. But these are incredible. They are super thick, so warm. They've got big deep pockets. The waistband is nice and stretchy. It's really thick. It does have a real tie in it. So if you want them to be a little tighter, you can tighten it up and tie it. I love how they look at the back. I think that they're really flattering. They're not like super tight or anything, but they're still tight enough. Like they're not baggy, so they don't like sag in the butt. And then for me, these are like the perfect length. They end exactly at my ankle with a cuff. Once again, keep in mind that that means if you are taller than five foot one, they will probably end a little higher up your ankle. But this is basically like my ideal loungewear outfit. I wear this all the time. I will probably wear this after this video for the rest of the day. Super comfy, will keep you so, so warm if you need that, which <laughs> ironically in Canada right now, it went from being snowing and like minus two, minus three to plus 10 this week. So I don't necessarily need to be this warm, but in the winter, this will be amazing. And like I said, they have so many different colors. They also have completely different styles of sets. So like if you wanted shorts and a tank top, they have those. If you wanted like some kind of joggers with a matching shirt or like a cashmere style pant and top, they have all of those different sets. Definitely check them out if you're interested in some loungewear. I also think these sets would make incredible gifts. So if you're looking for something for Christmas, this could be an option, just saying. Now, obviously I would not pair these two things together, but this is my last piece, 
which is just this super cute um, little light green turtleneck. I would call this material cashmere inspired. It is very, very soft. It has that same kind of feel, the same vibe as cashmere, as like a little turtleneck or I guess technically a mock neck. It is super, super cute. I love this sage green color right now. I think that it looks really adorable. I like how it looks on me with like how pale I am. <laughs> it makes me actually look like I have some like color to my skin, not just stark white, which is nice. And I honestly do even like it kind of tucked into joggers for like more of a casual look. Now, obviously I would be more likely to pair this either with like a dark gray jogger or like a classic lighter gray. And I do think that it would like look cute if you were just like running out to do some errands, you wanted to be super casual. I think with like a great pair of jeans or even like a faux leather legging, this could also look like really cute. You could dress it up, wear a jean jacket with it or a leather jacket with it if you really wanted to kind of zhuzh it up a little bit. And I just really like it. Now this one does have longer arms. So if you were a bit taller, you don't have to worry about that. It is fairly short and I did see some complaints about this when I was buying it in terms of reviews. I would consider this to be a cropped sweater. On me, it hits basically my hips. That's only because I'm very, very short. And I got this in a size medium because I saw a lot of people saying how short it was. So it is obviously a little baggy, but in a sweatshirt like this, I think it looks cuter to be like a little baggy than too tight. So I prefer that look, but I definitely think that it's a great just like all around fall staple and I will definitely be wearing it this fall. I have been purposefully not removing the tags because I knew once I removed the tags, I would just wear it to death. And I do think this is something you would need to be really careful with. Obviously, if you snag it or if you wash it with things that maybe it shouldn't be washed with or on too harsh of a cycle, you could definitely damage this. So it's something that will have to be, you know, treated with a little bit of love and care. So that is everything that I purchased from Boutique 1861. It seems like not a lot of stuff, but it ends up being <laughs> quite expensive. Definitely more expensive than if you were to go buy like a hundred dollars worth of stuff at Shein and end up with like 50 things to try on. This is very much like, as I said in the beginning, high quality stuff that is going to last you a long time. This isn't like super cheap stuff that's going to be in the dumpster in a couple of weeks. Definitely let me know if you've tried anything from Boutique 1861 before and what your experience was like. I have loved, I would say like 90% of things I've purchased from them. And the things that I haven't loved have been like tremendous fails. Like I've purchased skirts where I've asked about the measurements for the skirt, received it. They specifically were like, oh no, no, based on your measurements, you'll need a size large. I get it. And it's like way too big. Or I've gotten some items that were just like not the quality I was expecting for the price and I've sent them back. But for the most part, things are really, really good. The reviews are very accurate. Like people actually do take the time to put thoughtful reviews, but obviously they release new items every week. So sometimes there just won't be a review yet. So you need to take the leap of faith and be the reviewer. Now that is everything I have for you today. So thank you very much for watching this video. If you did enjoy it, please be sure to give it a thumbs up you can hit the big red subscribe button found down below to join us. Join us on this journey. We're reviewing everything. We are giving brutally honest reviews. And you can also hit that bell notification button to be notified when I post. I do put out a new video every single week, usually. Occasionally I miss a week if my mental health is very bad. <laughs> But for the most part, I've been pretty good about one a week. And I do have some pretty exciting things coming up and I'm hoping to do kind of like an amalgamation of sort of a gift guide for Christmas. I would love to put that out hopefully by the end of November to give people time to buy some stuff. If you have any like ultimate gift recommendations that you would love to receive or to gift somebody, definitely leave them down in the description box and I'll check those out as well before doing that guide. And thank you very much for being here. I hope that you have a wonderful week 
and I will see you next time. Bye!